Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th into the 19th. So this is for somebody, it's not for everybody. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. So this reading is for somebody who needs it, who needs the reading, and somebody that believes and for somebody that is willing to hear the truth without fluff, okay? This is a reality. There's no um, sugar coating, fluff, butter, okay? These readings are based on what I pick up and they come out <laughs> as I see it. So here we go. This reading is for somebody. What energy is coming out for today? Who needs to hear this reading? Who needs this message? What do they need to hear? Anybody that is still watching needs to hear this message. reevaluate go within time of introspection somebody needs to refocus are you on the right path are you making the right decisions do you see the light do you need to see the light oh no, this is the second reading that I've done. I, I did one a minute ago with a different deck. This card was there as well. Ooh. Somebody is moving in a new direction. And maybe they had to reevaluate. Re maybe this has already happened. Somebody has been isolating themselves because of some suffering that they have been going through. And now they are seeing the light coming off of or coming out of the darkness. Somebody is coming out of the darkness and opening their heart. You could be receiving or somebody may be deciding that it's time. It's time to follow my heart. And they're headed in the direction of their heart's desire. After grieving for quite some time over something that, you know, maybe they needed time to heal themselves or become consciously aware. Somebody has become consciously aware through pain and suffering. Suffering. They've, been, they've become aware of where their heart lies and they're headed in that direction. It's like they're, they're no longer, I mean, this is staying in a period of darkness, but in the reverse, it's I see the light. And he's got the light in his hands. So somebody is seeing the light in regards to a situation that has been very painful, very painful. Ooh. Yeah, somebody may wa be wanting to come back. Or they may be walking away. It can go different ways, right? So we have somebody that is seeing the light coming out of the darkness 
about to face their insecurities. They may have left and want to come back or they may be ready to leave a situation. Either way. This is in regards to love. It is in regards to a partnership. And it's like these two are meant to be. They're meant to be. And they both love each other. And maybe we have somebody here that needed to take a, this time to realize that. To realize that this is a true love connection. And perhaps they were afraid of commitment. The high priest. This is the Hierophant, which is... This is Taurus. This is Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius over here. Either way, there's a, there's been a breakup. There's been a, there's been a split. There's been a split. There's been some sort of... Um, lack of commitment. Which caused somebody to walk away because maybe they were afraid of commitment or they were afraid of this union. But it looks like somebody has come to some sort of realization that this is this is the one that I want. This is this is my match. This is this is it. This is who I want. And it looks like both of these people want each other. So there is an opportunity for love here as somebody has probably come up with a plan. They have reevaluated their lives and they're about to go after their true love. Whether this is somebody new or somebody old, there is somebody that is taking action in regards to offering their love to another person. And I, I really feel like this is somebody that has been, they, there's been a commitment before or lack of commitment. You know, they've been together before. You know, it looks as though, you know, there was some sort of break. There was some sort of breakup that caused a lot of hurt. Somebody walked away and, and maybe, maybe, you know, this person has come to realize that the person that they love has given up on them because there's been so much hurt and betrayal here. There's a love connection that has caused some so, somebody to reevaluate. And there's been a break. I mean, where somebody split. Somebody did split from this love connection. Okay, they did. Because it goes from two to one. Somebody split took a time out to reevaluate while they were alone they were feeling a lot of pain and suffering and grieving a lot of hurt here over in regards to commitment in regards to love you know in regards to believing and listening you know somebody was um, becoming aware but refusing to listen to their inner guide. And it takes a time out to become consciously aware of who you are. So I think somebody, there's been a relationship where one person took a break. Somebody decided they were going to take a break. Somebody decided they didn't want to be in this commitment anymore. So that caused a lot of pain. It caused a lot of pain for both parties. It really did. But now somebody is seeing the light because it looks like I think the other person is no longer holding on to that emotional loss, no longer holding on to the commitment. So therefore, this person is now aware that they are alone, that they are absolutely alone, that somebody has moved on. I think that now somebody is coming with an offer because Somebody has moved in a new direction. They're move they see that they're moving it. This person sees that somebody is moving in a new direction. 
and it looks as though somebody has learned their lesson. The world card is a lesson has been learned. Somebody has learned their lesson because the other person is no longer committed to the relationship that they once were committed to. Even though it was true love. It was true love. Somebody left this person alone to become aware, to wake up. And, and through the suffering and through the pain, this person has woken up. Both people have. But one person is no longer looking back. One person is on their way, on their way to a new destination. No longer going to see myself as a victim. This is a victim mentality in many of the other decks, the Five of Pentacles. I'm not the victim here. I'm not going to be the victim in this circumstance. I'm not going to let this circumstance keep me in this spot of emotional distress. I'm going to head in a new direction and get my love from someplace else. Somebody has found their confidence and their self-worth and their self-esteem. To take the lead in their own lives. And I think, I mean, I think that we have a woman here that is, has finally walked away from somebody that hurt her. That would not commit. This woman is, is just like, you know what, I'm in control. I've got it. I'm good. I'm good on my own. And she's refound her passion. She's, she's worked on herself. She's, she's developed new visions for her life. She's moving in a direction towards peace and harmony. And she's, she's not looking back. I think the woman here is gone. She's gone. This was a soulmate connection, a true love connection, and in, in which I think this woman was, was left to fend for herself. And I think that, I think that a serious lesson has been learned and now there's a phase, a chapter that, that has ended, you know. That phase of my life is done, done. So it looks like there's a major completion here in which a woman is being, was or is being left or she's deciding to go it on her own. She's deciding to find the strength and the courage and the willpower to head in a new direction. And I think we have a, we do have somebody here that sees that. Somebody sees that she's she's headed down the new road. She's starting over. She's headed down a new path. And I think that Ooh. Now somebody wants to take action. And it's and you see, now she's on her own. You see, I covered him up. And I I never know where I'm going to put the cards. She's on her own. She was left on her own. She may have been dealing with a man that was trying to manipulate her in some way. But now she has found the resources. She has taken back her power. Because there's no need to be stuck and sacrifice myself for a situation that is emotionally <laughs> unfulfilling. It's time for me to leave this hurt, this illusion behind. This lack of commitment. At one time, it was true love, but somebody needed to take a break. Somebody wanted to be alone. Somebody wanted to be with somebody else because of the third party situation. 
somebody wanted to. Oh, in the first reading, it was a third party situation, whatever. Somebody wanted to test the waters elsewhere. And now we have these, this magician here where somebody is taking action to manifest a new path because there's no need for me to be stuck on somebody that will not commit, somebody that is insecure. So we have a woman here that is seeing the light. That's what's going on here. And I think that because the woman is seeing the light, I think that the man is seeing the light as well. <laughs> Somebody closed themselves off emotionally and didn't offer love, which caused this woman To stop hanging on. To stop hanging on to this victim mentality. I mean, this is what this is. I, I'm, I'm not going to hang on to this situation that is so hurtful, so painful, and non-committal. It looks to me like somebody is taking action at this time because somebody has broken free. I feel like there's been a major shift in which now somebody has become consciously aware that they have to take action. They have to find the resources. to stop hanging on to their fears of attachment. They have to make a move. They have to make a move. They have to take action. This is the master of non-attachment. And this is afraid of commitment. So we have somebody here that is so afraid of commitment and attachment. And they've and now this, this, this woman knows it. She knows it. And now she's deciding, you know what, if you're not going to open your heart to me, if you're not going to love me, then I'm headed in a new direction. And I think there's been a lot of stalling here. Somebody is really, really stalled because of the grief. The true love, it was love. It was love, right? But now she realizes she realizes that she's been wasting her time. This is wasting her time. Somebody didn't see the opportunities and she's been wasting her time not completing this cycle. But it looks as though now she's moving in a new direction. She is. And perhaps because she's moving in a new direction, this partner is going to take action and offer love. And that's what it looks like to me. I'm not sure if she will accept it because it looks like she's done done somebody is absolutely positively done it's over with the world card lesson has been learned i've wasted my time and i'm moving on this was a false offer of love the cup was empty there was nothing in it So it feels like we have a woman here that has realized that it is time to move on from this heartache. But I've, this heartache and lack of commitment. That's what, that's what we have here. But I also feel, I mean, the man is in this picture as well. Because he's here. He's here. Both of them have been through introspection, okay? 
Both of them have been through a time of introspection. Both of them have become consciously aware. They've both been enlightened. No joke. And they've both hurt over this situation. Both people. And both of them are taking action. You see what's here? Both people are in the process of taking action. But I think it's too late with this world card. It's over. Something is over. The damage has been done. The damage has been done. There was no commitment. Somebody waited too long to see the light. They took too long. And they involved another person. I know they did. And now, and now, all I want is somebody who is going to appreciate me, respect me, and work with me. And like I said, they've waited too long. They involved somebody else. Somebody, somebody didn't move quick enough and involved another person, and now... So the other person has closed off their heart. It's like, no, I am no longer emotionally available to your false promises. You took too long. I wasted my time. Therefore, there's no new beginning here with this person. You know, many readers will say that's this is still a card of happiness, even in the reversed. Yeah, to an extent. But it's not extremely happy, is it, in reversed? And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the real deal. I'm looking for extreme happiness, not just once in a while. Somebody has been staying in a state of sadness and I'm not going to do it anymore. No, I'm, I'm not. Somebody is letting go. Absolutely. Absolutely letting go of a relationship that is no longer abundant. And that's, that's what this is. Somebody waited too long. And now the other person is turning away from it. This is no longer part of my future. I see no stability. I see no security. I see no abundance by going back to this negative situation that involved another person. It's over. It's done. The lesson has been learned. Somebody is turning away from something that they were once committed to. It's over. It's done. Goodbye. There ain't no coming back now. With endings bring new beginnings. So I think today is a day of realizing
that something is over. A partnership that somebody held on to is done. Because the person never came forward. And this person, and this is a card of closure, it's a nine. This person may come to their senses during this time. If it's been done, say it's been done. Because this is for, we're all at different stages, right? We are on this journey. We could have somebody here that has come to the realization that I want this now. I want this commitment. I want my true love back. It's over. It's done. I don't see it happening. I don't see a reconciliation here. I don't. A lot of you will want to change this because you see the two of cups and your pretty little heart and your pretty little mind and your eyes and what you think you know is, oh, no, 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 it is. That's what that card is. It's, no, it's not. It's not. We have somebody here that is willing to change, willing to bring success into their lives and to take action to do so and no longer hang on to something that is not committed. I'm letting go. I am. I'm letting this go. I mean, I'm letting this go. Somebody waited. They didn't make a move. They did not appreciate you. They did not bring abundance and stability into the light, into your life. They didn't offer you anything solid. They brought negativity with no, no growth. And we have this woman here, or a man, in this circumstance, that has realized it's time to move on and not look back. I feel as though if this person comes back, it's too late. Let's get an oracle card. Why not, right? Why not? So we do have a woman that's found her self-esteem, her self-worth, and her self-confidence. And it looks as though she is letting go of something that she was once committed to. Because this other person didn't... He took too long. He took too long. It's too late. It's a little too late. What's that song? There's a song. It's too late. I can't remember who it's for. for I'll put a link down there. Um, it's too late. Death. It's over. It's done. The lesson has been learned. She's found her self-worth. She's taking action. She's shedding. She's letting go. That's what's happening. We have a woman that's letting go of this man that didn't dare to commit. Woo. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we have a manifestation. Manifestation, calling in your soulmate, with endings bring new beginnings. This woman knows what she's worth. She's worth appreciation. She's worth respect. She's worth togetherness. This is communication. She's worth it all. And she knows it. One more. So we have a release. Because death is release and rebirth. It's also transition from one phase to another. It's transformation. So yes, it's this ending that leads. So because this woman has let go, she has a new offer of love. She does. Somebody else is coming in. So if you are a man watching this and you want a woman, what the hell are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Don't wait for her to contact you. 
It's up to the man to contact the woman. Oh my goodness. If you are thinking about contacting a woman, if you are a man, do it. Do it. Don't wait. There's a soulmate connection here. And it could be lost because this woman is not going to wait around for nothing. And that's exactly what this is. We have somebody here that is manifesting their soulmate and that is exactly what's going on. And we have somebody that is hesitant. But the time is now. Because there's an opportunity for victory and success and to start a new life with this world card. There is, to start a new life. But you have to take action. You have to take action. The magician is about taking action. So I see a release and a new beginning here. Look what's on the bottom. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Now, for all you women out there that are picking up your phone at this moment and you're going to send this link to the man, bad, bad, bad decision. You will not get respect for begging a man to love you. If you know your worth, if you are worthy, if you have high self-esteem and high self-confidence, you will be wise enough to, and if you are a queen, you will know that you do not chase men. Do not beg him to contact you. The right soulmate, the right one, will find the resources within himself to come and get you. Know your worth. Because when you beg a man by sending him links or sending him texts constantly, whatever, you don't know your worth. Once he knows, once this man knows that he's got you, okay, once he knows, he can play with you. He can play with you. Just saying. Anyway, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here with your true soulmate. Don't look back on the past. The one that left you bleeding. Good luck.